that's as early as it gets. It's a room rich with American political history. Our first president wore this, tarnished today, but still worth about a grand. A George Washington 1789 inaugural clothing button. Here, an 1840 brooch worn by women supporting William Henry Harrison. They campaigned very hard in those days, even though they couldn't vote. And this, an 1824 pewter rim lithograph, one of the most valuable items here. This is about 2,500 to 3,000. The event put on by the American political items collectors showcases thousands of campaign buttons, Democrat, Republican, and others. Presidential candidates running for other offices tend to be very collectible also. Other buttons make strong political statements. Wes Berger has about 10,000 pieces. It all started when he campaigned for Bobby Kennedy during his presidential bid. 19 years old at the time, we just couldn't believe that he wouldn't win the election. Just as he remembers where he was when John Kennedy was assassinated, he can't forget where he was when Bobby Kennedy was killed. I was finishing up my last exam at Bowling Green State University and I heard that he had been shot. So many memories, so much history. This is absolutely perfect pristine like the day it was made. Many of the collectors share a connection with the names on the buttons. Back in 76 I was uh, Jimmy Carter's advance man for northern Indiana. And the intrigue of American politics keeps them searching for more. But it's still a mystery. There's so much of it that everywhere you go, even after 50 years, I see new things. Live on 5 in Canton, I'm Bob Jones.